Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Miss Ashley and I am here with your news to you time this afternoon. We're going to try this format. Um, let me know if you like this better or if there's um, other activities that in our news that you would like to do. So first thing today, we're going to do our news to you. And then I'm going to share with you an exercise if you'd like to do that for a break. So first news to you then exercise. So our review today is going to be our quiz show. Um, I'm used to doing this live with you guys. Um, so we are just going to try to try to do it today. So I'm just going to put class. When we do this together, we normally do boys and girls, or sometimes we do boys and girls. And then I have one for me. And you guys are playing against me. So remember, guys, when we do this, we used to do this every Friday. Hopefully, we can figure out how to do it virtually. Um, this is just like Jeopardy. So our columns, remember, columns are things that go up and down. We see columns on different graphs. So in our columns, we have images, which the images are images from our current paper. We have numbers, we have shapes, we have colors, and we have letters. So, your kids get super excited to play this in class. And then in the rows, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500, which means the 100 to get those points, these are a little bit easier than the ones down here. So as you go down the column or down these rows in each column, then they get harder. So we're going to try to do this. If you know the answer, just yell it out, okay? Okay, do you guys know what this image is? It's one of our vocabulary words this week. It is wild animals. We got a billaby and a kangaroo and a koala, but collectively it's a phrase, wild animals. Okay. You want guys want to do a number? What number? It's the number four. Okay, ready for a shape? What shape is this? What shape? It's a circle. Okay, ready for a color? What color is this crayon? It's red. Okay, ready for a letter? Ooh, it's a lowercase letter. This is actually kind of a hard one. What letter? B. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's go through all of our images, and then we'll do numbers, shapes, colors, and letters. So let's take a look at our images. What is this a picture of? It's an icon for zoo, for zoo. Okay, what about this image? It's a family. So we've been talking about the Irwin family and this is the icon for family. So this is one type of family or one, um, group of family, what your family may look like. Let's do another image. Oh, this is another vocabulary word. It's a forest fire. So you see the forest up front and then the fire or you know what? It's not forest fire. Did you guys say, Miss Ashley, that's not right. Wildfire. This is an icon for wildfire. Okay, let's do another one. Ooh, we had that word zoo a minute ago. 
But then we've got this Australian flag. So what is this image? This is a hard one. It's the Australia Zoo. Okay, let's do a review on numbers, a number review. What's this number? Seven. All right, what about this number? They're gonna get harder. What number is this? It's got one ten and one one. It's a number 11. Okay, let's do another number. What about this number? 15. I know what you probably said, and you probably said 15, but it's 15 is how you say this number. You have one ten and five ones. 15. Okay, last number. This one's a little bit easier, I think. 18. You have one one and eight one ten and eight ones, 18. All right, now let's do some shapes. And remember, they're gonna get harder. We've already had a circle. What shape is this? It has three sides and it has three corners or three points. A triangle. Okay, how about another shape? That one's easy, call it out. A heart. Okay, what about this one? The shape. That's a hard one. We've had this one before though. Can you make a guess? This one has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and this is called a hexagon. It's got six sides, a hexagon. Okay, last one. This one is a hard one for you guys. What is that shape? A rectangle. All right, let's look at some colors. Let's review some colors. Okay, we had red. Now, what is this color? Okay, let's look at the next color. This one's a hard one. Black. Did you get that one? Okay, what about this one? This one's another hard one. It's a color of dirt or mud. Chocolate pudding. It's brown. Okay, one more. One more color. Oh, this is the hardest one of all. It's gray. It makes me think of um, the Disney. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Okay, all right. Letters. Ooh, I know you know this one. That's a lowercase i, yippee ink, i, i, i. Okay. What about this one? Take a look at it. What is that letter? That is a K, kicking king. He kicks, he sticks out his legs and goes as he kicks. All right, two more. What is this letter? P, Peter Puppy. P, P, P. All right, last one. That's a U, Uppy Umbrella, and he goes, uh, uh, uh. Or sometimes he says his name and says U. Oh, look, we did it. Okay, let's see. There we go. 
All right, here is what else I want to do with you today. We have got a spotlight. And guys, this is uploaded in our documents if you would like to look at it after we get done. So today we're going to do a spotlight on zookeepers. And this is a story by Fran Jensen. So let's take a look at our picture here. It looks like we have um, two seals and the lady here, or that may be a man there, um, is the zookeeper. So that's what we're going to read about today, zookeepers. Zookeepers care for animals at zoos. So take a look at this lady who's taking care of these um, lions or tigers at lions at the zoo. Look at this picture. These are some elephants. They may care for mammals, birds, or fish. So any of those kinds of animals. Zookeepers must learn about animals. So look at this man. He has got a um, magnifying glass and he's looking at maybe some models of bones. Zookeepers feed zoo animals. Look, if you have pets at home, do you have to feed them? That's very important. They clean zoo exhibits too. So look at this man. He's using a water hose and he is washing off one of these animal exhibits, which is um, where the animals live while they're there. My kids, one of their chores is to clean out their animal habitats too. Zookeepers care for hurt animals. So look, it looks like this lady has got a tortoise and maybe um, it's on its back. Maybe it's hurt. Maybe something's going on with its shell. And the zookeepers are caring for the hurt animals, just like the Irwin family did for the animals that were injured in the wildfires. They give medicine to animals. So look, they're giving medicine to that bird. So maybe it's sick and it's having to take medicine or maybe this is medicine to keep the animals healthy. They help animals feel better. So look, it looks like that zookeeper is maybe checking the teeth of this seal, making sure it's okay. Zookeepers may work outdoors. So maybe this is an exhibit that had some water or something right here and they're cleaning that. So they may have to work outside. Zookeepers may work inside zoo buildings. So look at these zookeepers. They're helping with the penguins and the penguins are inside. Sometimes they speak to zoo visitors. So it looks like this zookeeper has got a koala, and there may be a visitor to the zoo, and she's talking about that koala. Zookeepers answer questions about animals. So there's some kids right here, and there's a zookeeper that's maybe, maybe a carrot she's feeding um, to that giraffe. So maybe those kids are asking some questions, and the zookeeper is answering them. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that picture. Would you like to be a zookeeper? Hmm, what is this? That is a big old snake. Okay, so let's answer a couple questions. Who, so remember we're talking about a person. Who was this story about? Zookeepers, librarians, or florists? It was a spotlight on zookeepers. Zookeepers. And did you like the story? You can say, yes, I like the story. No, I didn't like that story, Miss Ashley. Or I'm not too sure. Maybe. 
I like the story. I'm yes. going to put yes. And it says, choose the pictures about this story. Do we talk about glasses? Glasses. No, we didn't talk about glasses. Do we talk about animals? Yeah, we animals. did. And do we talk about a zoo? Yeah. Zoo. So here's a couple questions you can talk about at your house. What question would you ask a zookeeper? And if you want to make a comment, if you have a question for a zookeeper, let me know. And what animal would you like to work with and why? Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to share with you a um, exercise so you can take a break. And I will see you guys again later. I hope you enjoy the Jeopardy game and or the review game and you enjoy the story about zookeepers. I'll see you later.